you guys would smash up dressing rooms just because you, you felt like that's what you were supposed to do. You didn't realize that it would cost you money, but you had probably <laughs> worshipped a bunch of bands. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> throwing TVs out of, uh, of, of, of hotels. That was just all the stuff we read in like Cream Magazine or the stuff back in the day of, you know, Led Zeppelin and, you know, uh, right. getting away with, with all kinds of chaos. We felt that that was, well, that is what you're supposed to do on tour. So I think probably more in the Jägermeister days, that stuff made us crazy, like really crazy. Um, but what do you mean? Great story, what great do you mean? Story with uh, Bill Graham. Remember Bill Graham was like the legendary promoter that yeah. took yeah. the Rolling Stones on tour. I mean, he basically ran San Francisco, it, obviously in the best of ways. And the first big show that we played, uh, we got to open for... We're there. So the legendary shows back then, remember all those stadium gigs in the 70s at Aerosmith and Blue Oyster Cult and Leonard Skinner and everybody would show up on. So they were called Day on the Green and they were an institution in San Francisco. They would have two or three of them every year. So we got invited to play our first Day on the Green in 1985. We were uh, you know, playing at 10 o'clock in the morning when they were opening the gates and people were coming in. But we were having a great time and we were uh, hanging out. And by the time the day was done, we were all obviously completely ripped out of our minds. And the dressing room got a got a beaten, took a beaten, and then you were summoned. <laughs> a redecoration. A, a redecoration. And then James on Monday morning was summoned to Bill Graham's office to uh, get the finger whack from from the legendary man himself. And um, it was yeah. It, he was uh, kind of like the Papa Bear, you know, trying to help all these bands. You know, really '60s, '70s hippie stuff and. You know, it was all about love and helping people out. And we're in there smashing his dressing room up. And for some reason, this watermelon has to go through that little vent into the next room. You know, it just has to. James, why? Why, though? I wasn't thinking of anybody else. It right. was me and the Jaeger and my buddies. And this is what we want to do. And this is how we celebrate life. <laughs> By smashing you someone else's stuff. You know, do you ever shudder at night? I'm being serious. Like, what if you had? I don't know what it's like to physically pull a TV out of the wall and throw it out a window, but do you ever like sit there and go, Oh my God, what if that TV had fallen on a human being and I killed them my whole life? I might have ended up in prison and I never would have been in Metallica. Do you ever think seriously think about that every day with pretty much every action I did back then? Yeah, I'm super grateful that we are standing here. <laughs> alive and yeah. being able to play and realize that okay there's some things that are regrettable i got to let them go i can i can clean all that stuff up but at the end of the day bill graham was certainly one of those guys that i respect because he took the time he took mm -hmm. the time and effort to say hey yeah. yeah uh you are cared about and i seen i've seen this I've seen this happen. I've had this same talk with Keith Moon and Sid Vicious. And I think, uh, okay, thanks, bye. And I walk out. And then I'm thinking, all right, I got to go back in. I'll walk back in. And I said, you know, uh, thank you. You know, my dad has never had talks with me about this. I had really no guidance. And right. Thank you. And I will, I will take this to heart and I will respect what you said and do my best. And the next time I remember we played in town, he had the whole backstage <laughs> covered in visqueen, which is clear plastic. <laughs> right. I mean, everything. Right, yeah. And duct tape. Everything. The whole, all the walls, uh, our guitars, I mean, the food, uh, TVs, everything was covered. <laughs> and then I got it. It's like, this guy's not only cool, but he's got a great sense of humor, too.